All right, next I got that big coyote and a couple bunch of big coyotes and a porcupine and a possum. Well, I'm at that porcupine set yesterday and I got another one, but he's gonna get killed because they're just junk animals. Camden's here, but so yeah, we're gonna take care of him and uh, get back to school. Now, right now at this moment, it's uh, I don't really know what day we're on. We're checking traps, but I know it's beginning of. Uh, towards the end, actually the yeah, last day of the second week and all I got to show for this week was uh, porcupine and uh, raccoon but the reason for it is we had like four days straight of rain and so my all my fox traps got washed out and then yesterday was the opening day of like coon trapping and the, everything else and I didn't get any video of that because it was ultimately just downpouring again. Like the day after I reset up, redid all my traps, it was just downpouring. And now it's the next day, and I'm checking those traps. And I got one coon, and I didn't get video with it. It was just downpouring much harder. We have we, the winds of like 70 miles an hour today. And I got one coon, didn't get, but I got some pictures, and I'll put them in and put it in the video. And I've got some coon traps up here. I'm gonna check. And hopefully I can get some video, but if I don't do get any video today, it's because it just it's just raining wicked bad now. And I don't want to destroy my camera or get anything wet that I don't want to get wet. So I got some mink sets. I, I didn't do any bobcats yet because of the rain. I wanted to do it when it was dry. Um, maybe do a little bit of beaver because beaver opened yesterday. Otter. Uh, what else opened? I think Fisher and Martin a few more weeks. So I gotta wait for those. Um, yeah, so basically everything's open Nick, at the moment, so maybe we can get some more stuff on video. That's the towards the end of the third week. I didn't post anything in the last second week because it wasn't a really good week. We weren't catching much because of the rain and the massive storm we had. And I got a coon on Monday, but it was raining so hard I didn't want to get my camera wet. So I got some pictures that I'll post. But checking the coyote set, and I'm not quite sure what that is right there. Oh, it's a coon. It's another coon. Little one. Not as big as my first two. But ain't nothing wrong with that, I guess. You behave yourself. Him, it looks like by the back foot because he's trying to break the cable. Uh, see how mean he is. Come on. Hey, buddy. See how you mean? Oh, yeah. He's... Hey, behave yourself. This guy's, this guy's young compared to the rest. So I bet he's the last year in this past springs, baby. But still, it's fur. Huh. Hi. All right. shed I'm gonna go drop off the coon and do it later today get this door open There's that this is where oh the skinning happens take a look in here All the dates taught and where they were caught.
couple beaver. Gray is red. Lots of coons. It's been pretty slow. That big one, this big one's mine right here. So, yep. Yeah. Is that? Let me get the casters. Sweet. Yep, it's been pretty slow around here because of the rain and the storm. We had knocked out power for a couple days and it was so strong the river came up so we lost quite, um, quite a bit of time. We couldn't reset our traps and get them refreshed up because of the rain. Now there's no rain in the weather and we're going to start catching a lot more again, hopefully. So yeah, it's going to be a, going to be a good time. Would you look at that? That's what happens, it pays off after the rain, refreshing your sets. A coyote. Sweet. Get a better look at him. Got a gun here. Hey. Calm down. You're a male. You can give me something? You wanna give me a howl? How you doing, buddy? Hey, hey. thing about the remake here for that coyote I had to get someone one of you guys or whoever watches this stuff I don't know if anybody really cares about this but I want to fucking focus whatever they commented saying that because of that I should remove the blocking because it'd be making more of like a walkthrough set and be, that's more likely for Fox but I don't want to nag on the guy he did make it is a good point but also it's he's from down in I think it was Missouri or something like that but different things work for different places this is actually a fox set this is I had fox urine and everything I built this for a fox and I had blocking bigger than that and it still caught that coyote that's a full-grown adult male coyote so they still work it just guides them in it look it's more like a trail for them to come into and there's a different depth how far you want to set your trap back from the bait hole. I Every set, even for fox, I make my bait hole the same distance away from the trap as I would for a regular coyote set. They're all the same distance. I make them the distance where a, where a coyote would be because there's always the chance a coyote will come to your fox set and you miss them. Because this is the second coyote I've caught this year on a fox set. Because they're just curious about the other smells. Not the nag on the guy, but block, blocking doesn't make a difference. It just guides them into where the trap is a little bit more. Right, I'm in another spot and I think I have a gray fox if I'm correct by the looks of it. I might be wrong, but it looks like a gray fox. Still does. Down, yeah, it definitely looks like a gray fox. Yeah, it's a gray fox.
That's my first gray fox of the year. So yeah, we're getting dispatch and get the set me re remade. That was on a coyote set, so gray, gray fox apparently aren't afraid of coyotes. So yeah, this is a good day, gray fox and a big, big male coyote. I'm happy.